Welcome to another video, A Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in a very windy Blackpool. The illuminations weather has finally arrived here. Yeah, we normally talk about illuminations weather when the illuminations uh, get switched on. That's when the weather goes to absolute pot. Well, it didn't go to pot straight away, but it certainly has gone to pot now. Um, so I'm just here on the promenade. So you see the tower down there. The wind is coming right at me. We've got 45 mile an hour gusts. We'll have a look out at the sea in a minute. The tide's sort of halfway out. I think it's on its way out, actually. I'm just across the road from um, the Yates. We're going to take a look at the um, how they're doing with the Hearts store demolition, the former Hearts and Woolworths store. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Just a quick video for you today because I haven't really got a whole lot of time. But what I'll do first is, Let's have a little look at this. Oh, we can hear me all right, because my goodness, this wind is incredible today. Wow. Just listen to that. Wow. Well, we're certainly getting some fresh air in Blackpool today. <laughs> certainly going to be... Uh, <laughs> bit of a, a battle to walk on the beach in this weather getting blown sideways uh, but anyway I'll tell you what we've had a little look at the beach let's go and have a little wander we'll end up round I'm going to go round the back of Yates's because I want to show you around there and we'll end up just over there Waterloo Road and we'll check out how they're doing with the demolition so I'll just make my way round this Yates is another empty building, been empty for a couple of years now. Yeah, it's pretty sad really because it's Art Deco, isn't it? And it's been vandalised as well. That's a broken windows up there. Hopefully something will be done with it eventually. Um, sorry about the quick video. I don't really have a whole lot of time today, so we're just going to take a quick look and see how they're doing. Hopefully some of the other vloggers will be covering it as well. Take a look down the back street here and I'll make my way up. Have you noticed we've got York Stone down here? Look at that! You know what? I've only just noticed that now. York Stone. Wow. So we're heading towards this road here which is called Bolton Street. Can't, I call it the back alley of the promenade, really, because it kind of looks like a back... Oh, hello, it's kicking off in Blackpool. We've got some police cars up here, look. It, uh, there can be a bit of trouble around here. Yeah, there can be a bit of trouble around this area. But we're looking at the back of the, the Aces now there, look. You know, they found a body on the roof once there, you know. I can't remember when it was, but... Uh, If I find a story, I'll put it in the, in the description. But yeah, there's a body of a man found on the roof there. How that happened, I do not know. That's called Britannia Place, that road there. And I'm now just across the road from the Sun Inn. Look at that there, isn't it fancy? The Sun Inn. There's a lot of these uh, houses and apartments down here, but there have been shops at one time. And this road continues up and then it changes into Bond Street. So, I can't hear anything at the moment. I don't know if they're working, but we'll have a little look. We'll see where they're up to, shall we? Oh, look at that now. You can see they're, they're right inside the store now. And I've just noticed this little uh, street here called Price Street. I wonder if this house is down here. I might need to take a look down down there sometime. What do you think? There's a lot of little like alleyways in that around here. But uh, well, I always thought they were alleyways, but they're actually streets. So here we are. I've made it. Got AT Media over here, he's filming. Check out his channel if you want to see a bit more of it. AT Media. So, this is where we're up to. What do you think? Let's 
let's have a look, let's have a closer look, shall we? We'll look through the we'll look through the railings. There you go. Yeah, the digger's right inside the store now. They're pretty much pulling it down now to the inside. I don't remember really going upstairs, you know, in this. You know, when it was a Woolworths? Or when it was a Hart? Did, did they have an upstairs when it was a Hart? Because I don't remember going upstairs when it was a Woolworths. I can't really picture the upstairs. I only ever went downstairs. So if anyone could let me know. So this is how it looks on a Tuesday. The time is about 11 o'clock. So I covered this right from the very start when they were just setting up. I spoke to Howard as well. I'll put a link to that video at the end if you want to check it out. I've just been speaking to AT Media. He's going to be spending a bit of time here. I'll put a link to his channel. I can't really be here too much longer. I'm going to stay around this side as well because the wind is blowing, obviously from the from the the promenade, and it's just blowing all the dust that way. So there's no way I want to go down there, Bond Street. I'm going to stay on this side. But we're looking straight into the store now. Can you see where the kids have been in and they've done the graffiti there? And you can see the other half of the roof. There were like two pitched pitched roofs on it. But someone mentioned how come they didn't take all the tiles off. I think. Now I heard someone say they took some of the tiles off. Yeah, I really don't me remember going up there. I don't know why. I remember a bit more about the, the store in town, you know, the, the Art Deco one in town. I remember a bit more about that one. But it doesn't look like I'm going to get any major um, pieces coming down today. just sort of clearing up at the moment they're clearing up look at all that wood there wow and there's a basement as well yeah i don't know if you can see down to the basement from here but there is a basement yeah um i don't remember the basement either if the basement was part of the store there you go this is where they're up to. The only thing I really remember about this door was the windows, because the windows were quite unique. They used to curve around. They were quite unique windows, yeah. And they had several entrances on each side. Battling against the wind here, folks. I've just noticed something in there. Can you see that? There's actually a Christmas decoration wrapped around that pole there. Look at that. They left one of the Christmas decorations. It was known as the Christmas shop. You could buy Christmas decorations and lights all year round and you can still get them now, look. <laughs> Check out Whiteside's family amusements if you're coming to Blackpool. I thought I'd give them a shout, I was talking to the owner yesterday. You know, this part of town does need a bit of help, really, because it has suffered, you know, in the last couple of decades, but uh, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. Here's one last look, and if you want to see a bit more, don't forget to follow AT Media. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So there you go, that's it for this video. Just a quick one for you today. I'll see if I can nip back again tomorrow. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos, and I'll see you again on the next one.